Hi, good morning all. Today we are going to see information processing and sorting. So what is meant by sorting? Sorting is arranging a particular things in particular order. That is nothing but a sorting. You are you can arrange the list of particular students. You can arrange your notebooks. You can arrange your textbooks or any things you can arrange it properly. So sorting can be done in ascending so, uh, and descending. Okay. So ascending there is the list which increases from smaller number to greater number. Okay. So just consider as you can see in the picture there is a list of particular students in your class. As you can see uh, there is a list whose particular student name starts with A. And just consider two new admissions are coming in this class that new names are starting with A only. That is uh, as you can see Anaya is there and new student is coming as Anaya Verma and Devin Munjan. Now the question comes where to write these names as we have this sorted list and we have sorted it on particular field name. So when two students of same name are there in the class naturally we are sorting that list on surname also. So first we will sort the list on name and secondly we will use the surname to sort that list. Okay, so that particular students list we can get as shown in the picture. All A's name will be listed first and then next list will get or we can get the next list of students. Okay, so this is nothing but a sorting. Now let us see some sorting algorithm. To sorting algorithm, we exchange a particular values what is meant by exchange so an exchange step is a basic procedure in which we compare two values at a time and arrange them according to specific order if you want a list in ascending order then list will be arranged in increasing order and if we want list in decreasing order then particularly descending order then list will be arranged in decreasing order. So here we have to compare two values at a time and then we have to arrange according to desired order. So if this is the original list that is 15, 2, 13, 6, 9 and 3. This is particularly original list and if we start, so we have to start from left side and we will go to the right side. First, we have to compare first two values that is 15 and 2. Compare these values and we, as we want this list in ascending order, so we have to exchange the position of that. So 2 will be at first position on and 15 will get smacked at second position as you can see in the picture. Now in step next step that is step 2 again second and third value will get compared that is 15 and 13. In this as 15 is a greater value that's why 13 and 15 will get exchanged that is that particular 13 and 15 will get swapped. So, at step 2, we will get 2, 13 and 15. In step 3, we will get the value 2, 13, 15. So, we will just compare next two values that is 15 and 6. So, as 6 is a less than 15, so again here we are exchanging the position of that particular value and at step 3 we are getting 2, 13, 6, 15, 9 and 3 in the list. Now we had this third step. So in fourth step we will compare two values that is 15 and 9. In this case also 9 is less and 15 is a greater value. That's why again we have to exchange the value. In next step, that is step number 4, we are 
comparing last two values that is 15 and 3. So again here we are getting 3 as a less than 15 that's why again we are swapping its position. We are exchanging the position. 3 is coming at 15's place and 15 is at we are writing at 3's place. So this is we can say this is the end of sweep 1. Now again we will start next step. So this will be the sweep 2. So in sweep 2 we will check whether as you can see 2 and 13. The position of 2 and 13 is at its proper location because 2 is smaller number and 13 is greater number. So there is no exchange of value will be there. Okay, then we have to consider next two values that is 13 and 6. So here 13 is greater than 6. So again step number 2 we are exchanging the values that is we are getting 2, 6, 13. See students try to understand this is sweep 2, step 2. Okay. In each sweep, we have to compare full list by comparing two values at a time. Now next, as you can see in the picture, we have to compare two values that is 13 and 9. In this case also, again we are exchanging its place and at particular uh, sweep to step 3 position, we are getting 2, 6, 9, 13. 3 and 15 in list. So naturally in next step we will compare next two values. Now we are comparing 13 and 3. So again we have to exchange the values and last as you can see at step 4 we are getting 2, 6, 9, 3, 13 and 15. So as you can see we can we have to compare two values that is 13 and 15 but as 13 is less than 15 so uh, it is at its proper position that's why there will be no exchange so this will be the end of sweep like this we have to do the next sweep so number of sweeps will be there and in each sweep there will be multiple steps to sort the list. Depending on the number of values, we will have multiple sweep. And each sweep, we will have multiple steps. In that, we will compare two values and exchange the values accordingly. Thank you.